I'm back. Yeah, kind of like I threatened. It's, um, I'm doing a little bit of the Halloween stuff, but most of it's going to be just the little easy, simple stuff, and I'm probably going to end up being just all over the place with things. Anyway, I got a good deal on a sale from Beauty Bakery, and I picked up the Sweet Potato. And the Sweet Potato just looks so much fun with this sweater. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, the Halloween stuff went that way. Hello. How you doing? Yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Anyway, I thought I'd do some of the Halloween stuff that I had been going on about. And yes, naked face. Well, mostly I've got all of my skin stuff. And I put on a extra coating of one of my stickier moisturizers that doesn't really soak in. Normally I would use it at night, but since I'm not going to be putting foundation on, because I'm going to be putting all kinds of other stuff all over my face as we go along, you know, I just... I'm going to have to shut off my stinking phone. At least the alerts. There. That should help. <sighs> anyway. What was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, slightly stickier moisturizer on top of everything so I can stick makeup to my face without necessarily having to have tons of it because I'm not doing, you know, the, the foundation and stuff, at least not currently. Oh, this is one of the sweaters that I was telling you about that I picked up through Thread Up. It's pretty. Um, I've got a pair of cranberry colored jeans and I said, ooh, that will go together. So, here we go. Anyway, I've got some of the Elf High Putty in white. Just so things show up. And I'm going to just start with some easy, basic stuff. I've got a black eyeliner. I've got a brown eyeliner. Um... I've got, I just pulled out some random palettes because, you know, you don't need to go buy a special palette unless you're doing a specific look that you really need specific colors for. Because you can look dead using either grays or blues. You can look dirty using blacks and browns. You can look dirty using mustard. You can get all kinds of silly effects just by building up layers of color. You don't have to have a bunch of special stuff. You just don't.
just got out of the shower and the hair decided it was going to stick up, stick up instead of lay down. Whew, got the hiccups. Anyway, one of the things that I had showed before was doing just little things in the corners of the eyes just to be doing. You know, like bats. Now, my bats look a lot like M birds. You know, the yee, yee, and call it a bird. Only, in this case, the yee, yee is the underside of the wing <laughs> for the bat. And I just, I just gotta put them. Just like touch, touch, touch. They don't have to be perfect. And once you get the lines on, which may take me a few days, the way things are going, you can fill them in with black eyeshadow, you can fill them in with more liner. It's like it really doesn't matter. There's a little fat one for his little body. And then a line and an angle and the rest of his little body. A line and line. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is not perfect, but people will get the, the hint. It's like it's a bat. It doesn't have to be a perfect bat. It's just a bat. And then usually what I end up doing is putting more little ones around him him, her, they, it, it, it's like it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter See, this one's back a ways in the distance, so, you know, it's not as defined. I used to be much better at this, but then my hand started shaking. Or, in this case, shaking worse. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I've been known to do on occasion is put lines kind of like this. And then like this. And do a line down. And put a little round thing here. Because you do know that spider web comes out their butt, right? Little leg little leg, little head, leg, 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 
leg. You got the spider. You know, just little silly things because they're fun. And if you're trying to just like not do a lot, this will do. And then I had mentioned at one point the thing that I did. Right here because of the lump. And then take some black. And just kind of dust it around. And then you've got the moon in the clouds. Mm -hmm. So everything can look spooky. Yes, currently I'm using the monitor as the mirror just because then the mirror doesn't get in my way. And then once I got the basic feel down and do things like put a little tree with spindly spidery branches all over the place. Now I need the mirror whether I like it or not. Do your little tree. Put your spindly spiders. Like I said, I used to be better at this and now my hand shake. And take one of the branches and do a little head and a little teardrop body and a little tail, a couple of cat ears. Now you've got a kitty on a tree branch with the full moon behind it. Not as perfect as I've done before, but I'm kind of just putzing around doing this. It's a, it's a way to give you an idea, not to necessarily show you the whole medulla. And then you've got things like, once you've got stuff like this, if you want to build up on it, go for it. You know, I ha I've had occasionally where the bat goes all the way across and becomes the liner for the whole eye look. But with, you know, you've got something already on your face and you decide, mm, let's see if I want to be a pirate. And then you just draw your line, outline, your eye patch, don't 
does it matter that it doesn't work exactly that way? Do you see me asking Karen? I mean, if you want, you can do an extra line that goes back towards the ear. That's up to you. And then I just take black and fill that in. Let's see what's left on here. Not much. But, you know, you just kind of fill that in with whatever color you want the patch to be. If you really want, you can start putting all kinds of scars and stuff. But this kind I gotta answer the phone. I'll be back. You know, I really think sometimes that my children decide it's time to call as soon as I turn on the camera. It happens a lot. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Talking about putting stuff. Now, most of you probably already know about, you know, doing stitch lines and stuff. That's just a basic. However, there's lots of different ways you can start looking dead. I've got this nice blue mat. feeling a little dead. I want to look a little dead. Let me tell you, a little st strategic blue starts to look like cyanosis, which is not being able to breathe. So somebody who's been strangled or drowned or however you became, you, you, you started out to become a ghost. Blue works amazing. Especially around the mouth and around the lip. Now you can get a really bright blue lipstick or something but it it just it isn't the same you want to have a light blue because that's actually the color that your lips are going to turn if you're uh, running out of air see what I mean You're running out of air. Now, if you're running out of air, you're also going to have little vessels that break around your nose and around your eyes. If you're one of those people who likes to put on the funky contact lenses, please make sure it's a good quality contact lens with the effects in it. You don't want to use a cheap contact lens. You will end up with irritation or scratches or tears in your cornea and you don't want it. It's not worth it. One of the other things you can do is with the blue, you can rub it on a clean fingernail and it will add to the appearance of cyanosis. Now, see, like I said, I just picked up 
whatever of my palettes happen to be in front. I'm going, hmm. Now this one, this is the Roaring Twenties ones, one that's got a lot of interesting colors. Now if you've got bruises, if you're going to say you've got bruises, they're not all going to be fresh necessarily, especially if you're trying to do the ghost routine. I'm going to put some purple in here. And a little bit brighter purple, kind of. Or a denser purple. But as you get farther out, away from the center, you're going to have some other colors going on. Greens, yellows, because if you got bruised up a while before you actually passed away, the bruises are going to start to kind of spread out as part of the reabsorption and it's going to change colors. That's how it works. Now, if you really want, you can do some standard gray kind of stuff. Just any old wear to make your skin look discolored. And Some interesting reds, and you don't want necessarily a clear red. You want something that's going to be a little bit murky because lead doesn't stay bright as it oxidizes, it starts to change color. It gets kind of brownish. As it escapes. You see this? It's not too bad. However, if you want to make it look like you've been shot, you want to get in that center there and put decent black hole in your head. And try to get it good and dark in the center. Hi, 
Hey, buddy. Hey, Granny. See what I mean? Hi, bug. Hey, Granny. Now, if you've got somebody like Buggy here, my little short thing. Yeah. And he wants to be, let's say he wants to be a kitty cat. Mm hmm You want to be a kitty cat? Mm hmm Okay. We'll make you a kitty cat, okay? Okay. Now. Come here. I want, no, I need your nose. We're going to have a pink nose putty. See? Pink nose. Put a little pink nose on the kitty, kitty, kitty. Did you rub it off already? You're supposed to leave it. Now, he's not going to let me get away with this. He's, he's already rubbing stuff off. But basically, you just put a little color right on the tip of your nose and down just a little bit so you've got the nose leather. And then for just about any critter you want to do, it's one, two, and make lines out for your whiskers from where you've put your little dots. And it doesn't matter if you're being a kitty or a puppy. And if you want with your nose leather, you can outline it a little. Now this is a brown. Liner pen. Just kind of outline it a little and then you put the dinini. And then put the little line down so that you've got your little mouth split there. And then put whatever kind of eyes you want, whatever you want to decorate them as. But get exaggerated with the eyebrow. And then go crazy with however you want to color the skin above your eyeball. And then you go to Dollar Tree and you get one of those little hair bands that's got ears of some kind. Bunny ears, kitty ears, whatever. And it looks so cute on little kids. <laughs> Just so cute. Yes, right now I look like poo. But you don't have to be a makeup artist to do this. You really don't. Knowing the some of the colors for things like the bruises and for cyanosis is handy. But it's not required. I mean, you could just paint your whole face in a green and take a liner pencil that's got a lot more body to it than the little, little felt tip pens and put scars everywhere. Lots of people use appliances. They're fun. But they can be expensive. They can also be a little annoying, especially if it's a nose appliance and you've got a little bit of either 
allergy or cold. Because the, the nose appliance is hollow. It's just a piece of latex. That's the other problem. It's latex. And usually you use latex to adhere it. Or spirit gum. If it's spirit gum, you have to use a spirit gum remover to get rid of it. Which is why I don't like appliances that much. I've used them. I've done it. My favorite appliances are usually the big elf ears. <laughs> yes, I'm a pudgy elf, okay? Okay. But these ideas don't block your vision. They don't drive somebody who has sensory issues nuts because there's not something touching them. So there. It's not that hard. Use a little imagination. I dare ya. <laughs> I mean, you could be a pirate. You could be a kitty cat. You could just decorate your face for the holiday. No? You can do whatever you like. Now, some people are not terribly artistically inclined just because that's not them. There's a lot of places that will have stencils for doing different effects at the Halloween stores and such. Or if like you want to maybe look like a mermaid and you want it to look like you've got scales, get a piece of lace of some sort and or fishnet or anything else you can think of that's got an interesting pattern and holes put it over where you want the effect to be and just dust over it a little bit with a with a light-handed touch and a brush with the color makeup you want your scales to be. They'll be right there. And you can just keep doing that until you've got enough scales to make you happy. If you want to be a glowy alien, take some of the body glitter lotions. Or make one yourself. Take a nice lightweight lotion, put some of the loose pigment in it, shake it up good, and just rub it on. You don't have to go out and spend a bunch of dollars for, for a fancy one. You know, it's like, no. This is, you know, you may do costuming for a couple of nights if you're doing a party or something, but there are sometimes all I do is ju literally just put on a dark room and I've got the sorting hat and I put the sorting hat on my little head and just sit kind of curled up, but just sit with a cauldron, plastic cauldron of candy at my feet. There have been times where the only thing I did was just brush my hair and stick on some peasant style stuff. And it's enough. 
you know, put on the peasant skirt, put on the, the peasant blouse, and go to the traveler. You know, when I had tall suede boots, I'd put on those and some dark colored pants and, and a white shirt and go pretend to be a, you know, a trapper or something. Towed around my grandmother's string of foxes. <laughs> you don't have to do a lot to have a lot of fun and get a lot of effect. Oh yeah. A lot of fun, a lot of effect. I mean, you can paint your face with orange eye makeup and put a few black lines and a couple of squiggles here and there and some shapes around your eyes and your nose and your mouth and go as a pumpkin. But it's still not messing with your peripheral vision. It's not messing with your straight front vision. If you're somebody who has to wear glasses, you don't have a mask interfering with it. If you're somebody who has sensory issues and don't like things on their face that, you know, like plastic and all that, you've got that covered. There's no plastic. It's just makeup. It's not that deep. And it washes off. And if you're using regular makeup, then you're used, you know, the stuff that you're used to, that you've already got, you know exactly how to get it off your face later. Instead of like some of the stuff you pick up that's Halloween only and it's a form of grease paint and then you've got this icky gooey mess all over you. Speaking of icky gooey messes. Yeah. Icky gooey messes. If you got a kid that doesn't like stuff on their face, doesn't like it when they can't see clearly where they're going, try this. If they want to be a bunny, let them be a bunny. If they want to be a kitty, be a kitty. If they want to be a puppy, have that. Doesn't matter. Just put their face on them and go out the door and go walkies with the kids. It's easy. A lot easier than you might think. You know, if you want to be a schmexy spider or something, just put on whatever clothes you think you want. And paint a couple of spiders on your face. Or if you want to be the vampire, paint a couple of bats at, at interesting spots. You want to be any other kind of critter. Put a moon on your head and put a little, few clouds around it. <coughs> it don't matter. Now, at some point, I'm going to redo the um, Power of Makeup half face that I used as a mask one time, but that one takes up a lot of time. So I'm not doing that one after I did this one. Or did this combination mess such. 
However, I will probably, after I turn this off for a few minutes and get this off my face and redo my face a little bit, I will probably do something semi-normal with the palette I just got in because it was on sale. Beauty Bakery Sweet Potato. It's so pretty. Came in yesterday. Sweet potato. Because I'm figuring the sweet potato should go really well with this sweater. Anyway. That's what this stuff looks like. And if my hands didn't shake the way they do, I'd probably have done it even better. Now, let me go away and go do something reasonable with this mug. Because, yeah, looking at myself, I'm like going, you don't look well. I know that was the idea, but you don't look well. Yeah, no. Anyway, I'll be back to do a regular outro in a little bit. I hope you had fun watching me do silly stuff, mostly with eyeliner. Um, some of it with color but all of it with the idea of not having to use a mask to look cute, good, fun on Halloween. You don't need a mask if you don't want to wear one. Your kids do not require a mask if they don't want to wear one. If you know somebody who just doesn't want anything on their face that's going to interfere with their vision or make, you know, give them a fit when they put their glasses on or just doesn't like feeling enclosed with one of the big masks or something. Now you got some ideas. I'm going to be doing a couple more of these over time while we're heading towards the season. And we'll see how it goes. Behave. I don't have bail money. Don't ever expect me to have bail money. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out the look I want to wear when I've got my cap and gown on for the pictures that the school wants and yeah, yeah. Bye.